Hello everyone, Sarah Behrman here, Business Agility Coach for Agile Dad, and it's time for today's episode of The Daily Stand-Up. Let's get started. I'm continuing the series on living agile, and last week I talked about pausing for reflection. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics, progress over perfection. So what is perfection? It could be specific to a task or maybe a fleeting moment or feeling. Definitely there's machines that seem like they're perfect for a certain amount of time until they need to be repaired or have parts replaced. But to be human is the opposite of being perfect. And just as we don't judge nature, like we don't look at a sunset and say, oh, that is not perfect. Humans are part of nature and we should not be judged for our imperfections. Living a perfect life, I hate to tell you, is not attainable, and it will only cause you suffering. When you're focused on being perfect and you avoid anything that you don't feel confident about because you don't want to make any mistakes, then perfection's limiting you from exploring and building your talents and skills. It's keeping you from living the life that maybe you really do want to live. So why do we want perfection? I believe it's a sense of control for some. We want to have this feeling that we don't have any defects or issues. It's a disguise for our insecurity. And most people that are seeking perfection really struggle with feeling inadequate. In agile software development, there's no idea of perfection because there's always ways to improve things and typically more than one way to do something. The team focuses on progress. They do not fear failures and they use all experiences to learn. Something we should all try to do in life. I have this daily goal of closing all my activity rings. I have a calendar that I keep of every single day of the year and I draw a little dot on the days I'm able to complete that goal. On the days I'm not able to complete that goal, I draw a little heart for myself because I still want to love myself and give myself grace for the days that I fall short of my goals. Ironically, July was the first the first month this year that I was able to close all of my rings and have a quote unquote perfect month. But honestly, it didn't really make me feel any better than the other months because it's all about continuing to make progress and being more physically active. You have to enjoy the journey and the process, even when it falls short of your ideal, because perfection is not progress, and progress is not a straight line. If you're only celebrating or feeling joy at the end of something, then you're missing out on most of the moments of life. Sometimes we need to fail in order to learn something that will help us progress more than any perfect experience. What is the closest that you can feel to perfection? I believe being in the present moment is the closest thing that we have to perfection. When we're not distracted with our thoughts and judgment, that is when we are really alive. I hope you're able to find joy in your progress and to reduce the need to find perfection in the rest of your week. Remember to stay focused, keep it simple, and you will be successful.